Wow. Meeting Simon Cowell. Um, it didn't go the best it could do. Um, we did have uh, crossed words. Um, but in them days, Simon was more... Uh, he was more playing the bad guy in them mm -hmm. the bad guy in them days. He hadn't had his little boy, um, and he hadn't like he hadn't softened up at all. He was like the grumpy old old grumpy Simon Cowell, grumpy Simon Cowell before he had children and before he had his wife and and things like that. Um, so we didn't exactly get on like a house on fire. Um, yeah, so, um, it was, it was about seven years ago and I'd gone on to Britain's Got Talent, um, uh, I'd gone on dressed as, like a painter, painter and decorator, and I was supposed to have, like, just turned up or accidentally, like, um, to the show accidentally. Um, accidentally on purpose. Accidentally on purpose. Um, and I had like I had paint on my clothes, handprints, all that, all that rubbish. Yeah, like I didn't look the best, and it wasn't the best audition. So I can understand Simon getting a little bit irritated by me. Um, but in them days, they acted more on Britain's Got Talent. In them days, now they're a little bit more real. I think. Um, when people audition now, I think. Um, so I wasn't. It wasn't the best audition, and I can perfectly understand Simon's reaction. His reaction was, "You're as funny as a cucumber. You're as funny as a cucumber," which I could understand because I was a bit. Because I was a bit crap. Um, crap. Um. Why? Why? I even thought of going on telling some jokes. I don't know. Um, but that was just me. Um, and yeah, I was a bit, a bit rubbish. Um, so yeah, there's my claim to fame. Meeting Simon Cowell. Meeting Simon Cowell. I also met like Aunt and Deck. Who were lovely, by the way. They were really lovely. And um, they're just the same off telly as what they are on telly. Um and I don't I don't regret doing it, nah. No. I don't regret doing it. I don't regret doing it at all. Um no. Um I would like to meet Simon Cowell under better circumstances. Like I'm sure he's a lovely fella. And he's given people like a lot of chances, doesn't he? I know he like makes a lot of money himself. Um, but I would like to meet him properly, like um, under normal circumstances. because uh, he does seem like a lovely person. Um, a bit stuck um, up, a bit stuck up sometimes, but a lovely person. And he's changed a lot of people's lives, hasn't he? Through X Factor and Britain's Got Talent. And stuff like that. Um, I know he makes money out of it himself, but still, he has still changed a lot of people's lives. I just haven't been lucky enough to be one of them yet. But never mind. There's always time in the future, Simon. We could always meet up again. And you never know, we might actually get on next time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to like slag him off because. I don't know him, so I'm not going to like completely slag him off because I met him for what, like a couple of minutes, a few minutes. So I'm not going to slag him off because I don't know him. Um, so there you go, that was my time meeting Simon Cowell. It was a little bit awkward, my part. Um, it didn't go like, like I planned and it didn't go smoothly. But that's life. You never know how things are going to turn out, do you, until you try to have a go and have, have a try. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a really big thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.